Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Another gray day here. We're supposed to have gray and rainy for phew, maybe even all the way through Christmas Day. May not see the sun, but eh, that's okay. I'm just uh, hanging around the house, being with my mom, enjoying the holidays here in the States. Um, you know, every single day I see evidence of what I consider to be people following the wrong people, taking the wrong advice, going in the wrong direction. Um, and when I say following the wrong people, let me clarify that a little bit. I don't necessarily, uh, I'm not knocking the people that they're following. Um, in fact, um, I'm not saying that what the people they are following are doing wrong. I'm just saying that what the people they are following are doing may not be the best for every given individual. Um, every day, you know, I see stuff, I see stuff online, you know, while I'm reading, I'm uh, watching videos and whatever. And that's probably why I don't make these big, bold statements. And I don't preach this message hardcore and tell you this is the way, this narrow path is the way, and this is how you do it. And that, the reason is, is because I hear state, I don't go online one day that I don't hear multiple statements all day long that I know to be wrong or wrong for me like people throw something out all the time like always and never and this and that and those kind of things and they will say if you do this this is going to happen and I do it and it doesn't um, they say if you eat this you're going to have this result I eat that and it doesn't they say you're going to fall apart or you're going to have problems if you do this I don't I thrive um, now that is not to say that they are wrong and I am right what I'm trying to say is, is they are them and I am me. And I know me better than most people. Now, you know, to somebody out there that might be new to this lifestyle, um, there are some basic rules. I'm not saying you can just make it up as you go or that, you know, um, I think there's a base set of rules in general that kind of apply to a large percentage of us. Maybe I don't want to say all, but a large percentage of us. Um, and then there's other subtleties. I mean, you know, for example, like I'm going to say a plant-based, yeah, I'm, I'm going to recommend, and that's just my opinion, any non-plant-based people out there can have their opinion, but yes, I'm going to recommend, I am going to recommend a plant-based lifestyle to all people. I think within, you know, whether you're eating cooked, whether you're eating all raw or whatever, I think people can make it work. I see evidence of that every day, so there's no real, um, you know, argument there, but it's just like people, people following the wrong people and then not trusting the results they're seeing right in front of them. In other words, they get so excited. Maybe they find a personality they resonate with. They find a group that they feel comfortable with and they follow ex things exactly like the group does. They don't get a, they don't get a positive result on this. They're not getting what they are looking for. And they can't admit that they just keep, they want to be such a part of this group or they want to believe in this person that they're following, this leader, this uh, teacher, whatever, that they just can't let go and admit that, well, this does not, you know, necessarily work for me. Um, it, it all goes back to the point. I've talked about this in uh, videos before about taking responsibility for what you're doing and not just being a blind sheep that follows somebody um, and you just wait to get your instructions and you wait to be told how to do it. Um, I'm, I'm of a firm opinion that one size does not fit all. And that's, you know, I don't know that my opinions ever got, you know, I, I leave a lot of room open to things changing, to my opinion changing, to my way of thinking changing. But as, far, as I go further down the road with this, um, that I think is starting to become an absolute that it's just not, you know, I talk to people, the, the reason is, and I get, you know, I kind of get, I don't just take a pulse of um, social media because social media is some crazy shit. There's a lot of drama there. It's kind of like TMZ. So you got drama mixed in with uh, agendas mixed in, people trying to grow their brand. And there's nothing wrong with that if they're growing their brand in an honest way or just my opinion. But you have so many agendas out there and you have to, everything you read, you have to be like, okay, well, why did this person say this? What is the reasoning behind this? Are they sincere? Are they trying to give you some health, some um, health information? 
or is there a purpose for it? Like, do they somehow benefit if you, you know, buy into or believe the way um, they do? Um, but, you know, we just have to be, it's, we, we all were happy, or I can't say we all were happy, but I was happy when I came to this lifestyle to realize like, okay, my health doesn't depend on doctors. I never was much of a doctor person um, before. In fact, even before I came to this lifestyle, I couldn't tell you um, probably in, in the last 30, 25 years, I've probably been to the doctor three or four times and it's been for a little like a cut here or there, just minor things. So I, I was never one of those sheep that really followed big medicine, um, although some people are. And then you come into the list lifestyle and you're just a sheep again. And you follow somebody that's got the best sales pitch or you follow somebody that you think's cool or you follow somebody that um, you're attracted to or whatever, for whatever reason, other than the pure reason of finding out what makes you the healthiest and what works in your body the absolute best. Um, you know, it comes and it comes down to it. A lot of the bickering in this uh, comes down between the cooked and raw, which we see every day. And we're finding more and more and more and more and more and more, more people that claim to be fully raw they all have that coming to Jesus moment and they say, well, we're not eating fully raw anymore. Now, the only difference in them and me, I'm not knocking anybody doing that. The only difference in them and me is I never really held on to this um, dogma that you have to be all raw. So I didn't have anything to let go of. I've told you from day one on this channel that this is an experiment and this is my experiment. Um, because, you know, that's the only laboratory I have to work with is me. I'm never going to say that everything I'm talking about here, everything I'm doing, that you need to be doing. It's, it's entirely possible, it's entirely probable that there's things I'm doing that absolutely, I wouldn't give up for the world that will not work for you. Um, you know, I have, I've told people before, I have flawless digestion. I almost always have. I mean, I've never had problems with my digestion. Um... Uh, I've never, I've always had a good immune system. Um, I never got sick a whole lot, even before I came to this lifestyle. And um, I think hopefully that good immune system or whatever it is that, um, you know, just keeps my body going is somehow probably what got me through all those years when I was drinking and eating, eating absolutely horrible because uh, somebody, you know, there's a lot of people that a huge amount of people would be dead or they would be having liver problems or they would they would face some serious consequences for the 30 plus years of drinking that I did. But I was able, I've seemed to have repaired that. I mean, I've talked to people. Um, I've had people look at me and say, I'm, the reason I'm getting close is they kind of surprised me. They said, well, you don't look like you've drank for 30 years. So I came to this as a fairly healthy person, even though I didn't have healthy habits. Not everybody's the same. Some people cannot do, I mean, I, I, I talk to people, oh, I know what I was getting at a little while ago. I don't just take, you know, my opinions or my ideas of what's going on just from the internet and random. I have people that I consider to be honest people who are going to give me fair, honest feedback and I talk to all the time and, and I don't doubt one word of what they're telling me and their experience is different from mine. There's things that I thrive on that they don't and there's no ifs, ands, and buts about it. And for me to say, well, you've just got to figure it out or you're wrong or whatever would be ludicrous. So anyhow, to finish off this message, just um, yeah, realize that your mileage may vary and you have to put in the work. You have to experiment. You have to figure this thing out for you because um, it's not the same for everybody. And anybody that tells you that, run. Go the other way because they're not giving you, you know, they're not giving you a correct uh, uh, vision of what, I, I lose words sometimes. Sometimes I'm actually, I was reading something in Spanish a little while ago, I'm thinking in Spanish, but you get what I'm saying here. Um, just make sure to take, take responsibility for your health. Um, don't follow anybody. Don't follow a doctor. Don't follow any YouTube person. Don't follow any educator blindly. I'm not saying don't follow anybody, but don't follow anybody blindly. Question everything. Question everybody. There's nobody too big to be questioned. Some of these people in the raw food world, that's why I don't, I don't mention names or anything, but pe and people ask me about people sometimes, and I just kind of try to change the subject because, I don't, like I've said before, I don't put anybody up on that pedestal. I don't give a shit about anybody in this raw vegan world. I know what I'm doing for me. When things start falling apart, 
I'll go in a different direction. But as long as they're thriving, I'm going to keep on doing what I'm doing. And that's what you should do. You don't do what I'm doing. Don't listen to what I'm doing for me. Listen to my process. Figure out your process and do that same thing for you. Anyhow, hope you guys like this one. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope you're having a wonderful week. I love you guys. Peace.